Hello everybody, welcome to... Um, how to describe this, I don't know. Well, let's just get this out of the way, I'm not doing an LP of Halo 3. Do not worry about that. Um, no, instead, to commemorate Halo 4 being released and it being hugely popular and blah blah blah, I thought uh, I'd go back and have a quick look at Halo 3 um, specifically have a look at some of the maps that I and my friends used to make uh, in Forge. Now this is more of a kind of nostalgic thing for me although I hope anyone who wants to watch this can appreciate <laughs> our creativeness, let's, say, uh, let's put it as creativeness um, in Forge because we used to make lots of racetracks and things and so I thought it would just be quite cool to go back and have a look at them. So enough with the pleasantries. I'm just going to crack open a little bit of a, a drink because um, my voice is so sore. Uh, so I, I'm drinking wine, by the way. Drinking very sophisticated wine. Yes, wine. <laughs> uh, let's get going. Forge. Now, most of them were in Foundry because Foundry was the Forge map. It was blank and it had the most items you could use. It was just awesome. I loved Foundry. But we did make some on other ones as well. Now the problem is I haven't I haven't checked all of these. I think quite a few of them um, <laughs> quite a few of them are either named very oddly that I can't remember them <laughs> Or they're blank, or they're clear, or they're not finished, or something or other. But I'll try and go through as many as possible that are interesting. And it's probably best to start off with the first race we ever made. Um, and that, I believe, was in Rat's Nest. Here we are. Rat's Nest 001. Or was it Race Race 002? As you can see, look, date we made this. This was, this was back in 2009. God, blimey, that was such a long time ago. Ah, uh, that was when we all used to go on a Halo 3 and I used to be really crap at it. Um, so which one should we do? I believe it's just race. Or is it this one? Let's just try race. I think this is the first race we made. Um, I, I can't really remember why we started making races. It's just we, we found out the, the Forge thing. And I had we downloaded some by the... Well, no, I don't think we had... Um, and that was a good thing. Because we hadn't seen any other races, we didn't have anything to base it on. So we just made something completely by ourselves. Um, and I tell you what, I'm pretty damn impressed with some of these. If I'm... How old was I during this? Hmm, for, uh, about 16 then. About 16. Which, I'm not saying I'm a child prodigy. But um, I think they were pretty cool for being a snotty teenager. <laughs> So let's have a look. Uh, hopefully it doesn't take that long every time. I don't think it does. Um, okay. Oh, that's not bad, that drink. Um, oh, well, this isn't it. Oh, for goodness sake. This is not the way I wanted to start. Game Screw you. Over. No, definitely not it. There's, there should be mongooses or mongoose eye and everything. Do you know what? This will be just a kind of reintroduction to the Halo for me. I have not played Halo in absolutely ages. Let's try that one. There we go. Yeah, it doesn't take that long this time. I have not played Halo since Halo Reach, which I found slightly disappointing. I don't know why, though, because it was a well-made game. Aha, this is looking more like it. Is it? Oh god, what the hell is this? Oh! <laughs> I don't even know, this is the problem with going back. I can't remember. This is definitely not it. Which races are which? We're going to have to find out. I can't remember this, this just looks like a big explosion and waiting to happen. I think that's what it was actually, we just wanted to create big explosions. We were Mythbusters. Oh, no, no, no. Alright, I will get this right. Let's go for... Race 002. Yeah, so last time I played Halo was Halo Reach. And the thing with Halo Reach was, it had amazing, it had an amazing forge, but we never used it. Ah, this looks more like it. Let's just check around this corner. Yep, okay. 
had an amazing for uh, amazing forge, but we never really used it as much as, as this forge. Don't know why, but let's have a go. So I'll show you the course. We start here. Um, and this was very much the learning experience. And I've got to try and get the controls back. So we go around here. Uh, oh god, the force fields and everything. Um, the thing with these races were they were awful to, r to drive, really. Awful, because you'd always get stuck or crash and you'd have to kind of spend ages reversing and things. But they were fun. Oh god, which way do I go? Wait. Not that way. We have to go around... <laughs> This was our first one. To go around the whatever they're called, explodey things, and through here. That's right, and I bet you there's going to be a mongoose stuck on the track. Yep. Always here it was. We never we, we were so lazy we didn't even get rid of it. Um, this bit here is quite cool because you might do a little bit of bouncing, but you could also get stuck that way as well, and if you get stuck you are screwed. You have to get out and push it. Um, I think what I'm most impressed with about this one is the length of the course. Not so much the length actually, more so the the route we made to make it last a while. Because you go over parts you've been quite a lot. Well don't get stuck on that thing. So, and now we use the middle part which is pretty cool because you might be able to see someone above you uh, go across that bridge. And then this part here was very sneaky. Basically if you went too fast you, you're going to get shot off the cliff and die. That was another problem as well. If you died, then you were basically out of the race, and either you all restart, or it's a bit unfair. Well, not unfair, because they did die, but it doesn't make it very challenging when everyone just gets shot off a cliff. <laughs> and to end the race, we'd go through in the middle. Um, with some more... What were those things called? Man something. Man cannons, that's what they are. Yes, and then this would be the lap. That would be one lap. And generally it would be three three laps. I think that's pretty damn cool. Um, if only for the, the the way we set it up. I just like... Because really, Rat's Nest is just an oval shape. Well, really, it's a figure, figure of eight you could do. But we made it go all the way through it. I don't think there's a single part of this map that we didn't use as part of the racetrack. So, yes... That was good. Let's try another one. I don't think we did any more on Rat's Nest. We moved straight on to Foundry with high hopes. Having one in the bag, one race in the bag, we thought, right, let's go to let's go to Foundry. Actually, that's a complete lie, because I remember the next race being on Cold Storage, and look, it's even called race number two. <laughs> so we went straight on to Cold Storage. I don't know why we used this one, because this is a pretty rubbish one. Really? Uh, Map-wise. It's a pretty rubbish map. It's small and it's a bit cramped. And it was never ever ever used that I know of in online multiplayer. I never used it. I don't think so anyway. No. Only in private games. Oh, I have a terrible memory. Terrible. Okay, well here we go. Um. So, with this one, I don't think this one's as good, to be honest, but I I just want to see it again. I just want to see it again and, and see what it was like. I do remember this one having quite a creative uh, course as well. Oh my god, where am I? Why is it so dark? Ugh. Sorry if you can't see anything right now, but neither can I. Oh, g what the hell is that thing blinding me? I'm stuck. Yeah, we should have set our spawns at the start of the... Oh, at the start of the race. Oh, I know what's going on. We cornered that bit off. Not very well. Because these were... They, these are the days, folks. Anyone who plays Halo... This was the start of the race. And only played from Halo Reach onwards. You don't know how tricky it was to put things in place. My goodness. Right, so this is the way the, the map would go, the race. I... You'd have to... Oh. You'd have to, um... That bit was tough. <laughs> All log out. You'd have, that's right. You'd have to hold it where you want it to be, if it was floating in the air, and then log out of Forge and log back in. And I'm not going to make that jump. That was a jump there. Oh. Why is this? Oh, I know why this map's so dark. It's because we've got a filter on. One of my friend's stupid 
younger brother hid a f <laughs> he hid one, and I I don't think we ever found it, <laughs> so we just left it in, because you can have filters for the game, uh, like sepia perhaps, and really bright, and uh, other ones like that. <laughs> So what was I saying? Oh, I'm going to get so sidetracked. Oh, that's right, holding things in place. Yeah. So to hold things in place, you'd have to log out of F uh, Forge and then re restart it. And that would leave the thing where you where you logged out, so floating in the air. I think in Halo Reach they changed that. They made it much easier. But yeah, for this, it was damn difficult. This is pretty much a failure because of the filter. If I could get rid of it, I would. But it's been here for three, four years, so what's the difference gonna make now? Um, is that one? Is that one lap? Yeah. See, that's okay. Not as good though. Not as good. Um, it's it's the foundry ones where it really gets good, in my opinion. And I know much of this doesn't really mean anything to you. It's just a crazy map with lots of rubbish turns. But oh, oh, pink team. Hello. Uh. Oh no, no, cancel. But I just like to see him again. So, <laughs> here's, here's a lot of them. Actually, these bottom ones are not ours. These are just custom maps like Saw, Bulldome, Pac Man, all that stuff. Now, <sighs> Reso Immenso. Don't know why we called it that, but it is indeed immense. This is probably my favourite one. Reso Immenso. Um,. I love this one. I love it because Foundry, although having the most items, wasn't the biggest map. It's, it was actually quite small. So to have a good racetrack, you really needed to know how to position things. And by golly, did this one have a have a course? Okay. Um, so there's oh man, I can't use these controls. There's a quick overview, and we get to that bit right in right in the middle there very soon. Even some explosions for some effects as you drive around them. Here is the start of the map. And this is where we got a little bit more smart because we used these. Uh, regenerated like a pickup. Um, because we were having trouble starting the races. Because uh, there'd be some lag or something in the internet. Someone would say 3, 2, 1, go and then someone would go off two seconds before because that's just the lag or the d delay or something. So we decided instead to have a new way of setting the countdown to begin the race and we chose this because it, it seemed to sync up more than us just speaking over the headset so when this exploded that was the cue to go I thought that was pretty clever I think I, I was the one who came up with that I was like oh, yeah that's a cool idea it does work it, it did work yeah so anyway this is the race it's very cramped and I'm gonna crash a lot but when I was good at the game and I could control the cars properly, the mongooses, I could I could breeze through this map. So we go around here. This turn I never liked actually. I wish I could change this, but no. All right, so then we sneak past this bit, B, follow the B, and then we go under where we just rode on top. I love these um these things with the the t uh, gaps in them, little tunnels in them. They were so useful. We go past the dumpster bit, <laughs> um, and this is this is my favourite part of this. That you could get trapped in very easily, um, and get turned around. And this happens. Yep, that could slow you down. That could lose vital position time. Now this part here is called. We named this. We were sad enough to name this. It's called the corridor of craziness because it's corridor shaped, and craziness happens. <laughs> yes, um, you just get pushed from side to side very quickly. But we loved that. We loved that, and it did pose quite a good challenge because if you entered that incorrectly, if you entered that at the wrong angle, you would get stuck in the middle. And what <laughs> if you got stuck in the middle, you were screwed. Basically, the corridor craziness would just eat you up. Okay, that was one lap. I thought that was pretty good. Let's look at it from above one more time. Let's see the path you go. So you go up there, along oh, along the top, along there, oh, down there. I can't do this very smoothly. Down there, round the back of there, you go through here, and then at the bottom, come out the bottom, through the dumpsters, up this, down there, 
down the corridor craziness, and then round the back. <sighs> Reso Amenso. Oh, uh, loved it. Next one, uh, ESN The Forge. There was a few, we didn't make just races, there were a few that were other game types. I think we made a dodgeball one. And we may have made a... I don't know, we'll just see how it goes. So I really should have checked these because, well, okay, obviously the empty ones, that's just blank map, so we didn't have to, um... So we had the most money to spend, that was it. Because you had a, you had like a money limit, didn't you? That sucked. Okay. Uh, James was one of my friends, so that's why it's called James. Uh, Fort House Man Cannon 21. Man Cannon 21, race featuring the Devil's Highway. That sounds awesome, let's have a go on that. Man Cannon 21, why is it called Man Cannon 21? I can't remember. <laughs> can't remember, let's just see what it is. I think I remember the... oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, where's the start? In fact, I think I know where the start is. Some things you just don't forget. Here. Oh, yes, I remember this bit. This bit's quite a good map. Let's go on here. Um, it's even got like a nice curved bit in the middle. Once we did start seeing maps being made, like proper proper race ones, um, we started to do similar things, like the curved the curved corners. Um, you'll see it in a second. So around here, lovely use of pallets there. <laughs> yes, here it was. It's this bit. This bit's pretty cool. Oh, and you could get... Oh, and then that could happen. Yes, see? Nice. Nice little obstacle. Come here. I'm not doing that all over again. Oh, and I remember for ages, for ages we didn't know how to rotate blocks. <laughs> we didn't know... We we just thought they had to stay in the, the, um, the position they were spawned in. So we couldn't turn any um, walls or anything. That's so stupid looking back. Okay, so once you went up there, you you go behind where you first died. You go up and to the left. That's pretty cool. I like that. Maybe that's why it's called Man Cannon 21. Not sure what the man, the 21's about though. Um, down here. Oh, that was another map we made. We made a um, football one. Mongoose football. I, I expect quite a few people made that kind of game type. Oh yes, and then this is probably what, maybe because it uses 21 man cannons somewhere, I don't know. It's just overall it uses 21. Up here. Oh, I think I remember doing this bit actually, I did. Yeah. And then you should bounce quite neatly back onto the start line. Ish. <laughs> there we go, that was, that was that. I like that one. I like that bit there, where it pushes you up and then to the side. That's pretty nifty. Alright, so there's that one. I might show off the mongoose football as well. Obviously it only works if you have people to play with, but it's still worth showing. This is probably going to be... Uh, well, I'll tell you what, I'll do some of them. I'll do some of these, and if you want to see any more, just say, and i do like a part two, but... Um, I was thinking of making this about half an hour, so we've still got a bit of time left. Because um, there's still quite a few more maps to show. Now, what should we do next? Race two way. Let's do... Where's Mongoose Football? Did I even have a copy of Mongoose Football? I bet I didn't. Oh no, I bet I didn't. I think only James had that copy. Oh damn. Okay, well I can't show you that, but it was just... Uh, a place with two goals either end, really. Um, let's try... What's Joe's race? My race, apparently. I made this. Oh. Oh, I think I know what this one is, actually. I think this one could be... Oh, is it this one? No. Or is it? I remember I was sad enough to make a race in the shape of a Joe. Like, spelling out Joe. This clearly is not it. Oh, okay. Let's just have a go anyway. Now, this bit I never liked. Why did I do this for? I'm... I'm criticising my past self. Uh, that ramp up there is too sharp, too steep to begin with. So we're going to go this way, follow the A. Oh, I like this. Except that happens. <laughs> that was the case a lot of times. I mean, not, not so much when we were doing it back then, because I, I knew how to drive the car, but the mongoose, but it still happened. But it was the best you could get. You could not get a fully smooth 
driving experience. Unless you were really professional. And there were some really good people who made maps back in the day. Uh, we were not one of them. We never shared our maps. Uh, oh! Those things are great. Oh, we go into here. That's pretty tight squeeze. I forgot those. You, you put man cannons upside down and they blast you along at quite a quick pace. Go under here. Okay. Alright, round here. Three ways to choose, although you'd always choose the one closest to you, wouldn't you? <laughs> and then... Oh, man. Oh, here we are. Back at the beginning. Okay. That's quite a good one. Yeah. Hmm. I want to see that one that's... I'm, I know I made one in the shape of Joe. I want to try and find that one now. And I sip my drink. Excuse me. All right. Um, we were so mature back then. Poop and tree fitty. <laughs> Damn you, Loch Ness monster. Um, let's try. Hmm. <laughs> race track. Race with curved in air part, but overall crap. Don't think I'll be showing that one then. Two level sumo m mongoose game. Let's have a look at this. Sumo. I'm assuming it's just, you know, push your opponent off of the platform, but we'll have a look. And it's two levels, not just one, but two. Ooh, mama. Um. Oh. Well, how's there two? There's one there, and then there's, that's just one. We were silly children back then. Hmm. What are all these about? What are these teleporters about as well? Oh. Oh, are these, I think these are, uh, oh, whoops, if I could land on the box. I think these, when you died, you could spawn here and, st and start throwing people who are still playing. How do I throw a grenade? That one. <laughs> Just uh, for some extra challenge. Where does that send you? Oh no, that this one down here must send you up. Yeah. Oh. Or just random. Where does this send you? Oh! the hell's going on? Oh, yeah, I, I understand. No, I get you. Because then, once you got pushed into one of these in a mongoose, then you'd be teleported. I think. Anyway, there's that. I thought that would be better, but oh well. I know we made a pretty good dodgeball dodgeball map. I'll probably show that now. Um, as the time ticks away. Um, I wonder what Tree Fiddy is as well. We might do that afterwards. Where is the... <laughs> so, so. This is how I rated my, my, <laughs> my maps. It was crap, so, so, immense... Um, there it is, dodgeball. Yeah, I, I think this was pretty good. I, I remember not playing it very much, which was a shame, because we put a bit of effort into this, but it was good. We always like to have random explosives. That just made things more fun, because you could just die <laughs> really quickly. Uh, okay, so yeah, this was it. Obviously, there'd be lots of grenades spawning on the ground. And what I thought was pretty cool is we had these up top, so you could aim up there and get them from behind. How cool was that? Uh, I believe it did work. Uh, obviously, not very often, but... You know, every now and then, you might bounce and it'll go near them and blow them up. These? Why were these here for? I know you could be killed by these. Maybe you had to position them... Yeah, I think we made them so you had to push them into there. And you could you could get splatted. Oh, and there's a random explosion. Um, and then they had these little bits on the side where you could get a nice high point and throw some more explosives. And then this bit down here. Oh, this is where you spawned, I think. Yeah, like the little little bit to the side so you don't get hit straight away. Mm -hmm. And up here is a viewing area, just so you could. Have a little watch on what the, how the game's going. Just the, I love the random footballs. Look, they're just being flown everywhere. <laughs> awesome. Okay then. There's 
uh, that's dodgeball. And I think we'll end with Tree Fiddy. I hope Tree Fiddy's a good one, otherwise I'll be very disappointed. But there's still loads more of it. Well, not loads. There's still a few more after this. So I might do a part two if anybody wants to see it. Um, oh, no, it's still not found here. Where am I going? Tree Fiddy. The second of the second 2010. So quite a while ago. Please be good. Please be good. Please be good. What was Tree Fiddy? If it's rubbish, I'm not ending on it. I'd rather end on a r race. This looks like a race. Why was it called Tree Fiddy? We'll never know. Oh, I think I know, actually. <laughs> I think I know why. It's because it breaks into three sections. And the Fiddy bit just seemed to work. Uh, so where do we start? Oh, here. I think you start here and you choose which way you want to go. So there's that way, that way, that way, or that way. Okay, this is quite a good one to end on because there's lots of different paths to go. How do I spawn in a... Here we go. I still got the skills. There you go. Uh, let's go this way first. I don't think this one was ever finished. That was the problem because I'm trying to think of four different paths. Well, why is there four if I called it Tree Fiddy? Oh, I don't know. I would just like Tree Fiddy. Yeah, it, I didn't finish it because trying to think of three paths was quite difficult in the end and I <laughs> ran out of space as well. Okay, so that's a bit of a stupid corner there, but fine. And then... Oh, yes, down here. One of these things. I love these. Oh. And this must be where it... Yeah, I was going to go on this direction. Because I think all of them come out around about here. Yes. Okay. Let's try again. Oh. And we go the other paths. I really... Mm. I can't remember how I used to control this so well, because I'm finding it so difficult right now. Okay, so you go underneath that one, which I think is another path. Up here. Down. Oh. Don't go down this path. <laughs> oh man, look at that. That just got royally stuck. Alright, get, get, oh, no, get on there. Oh! Um... Did any of you used to play the the game types like uh, Ghostbusters and Saw? Because they were great. I love Ball Dome as well, where someone's in a chopper. I think it's called. That that path's a bit crap. Oh yeah, where you're in a chopper. That was a great one. And what was the other one? Um, it was Ghostbusters Saw. There's one more we played, I'm sure. Oh, my mind's gone blank. Anyway, so let's go down this one. Oh, this one's a little bit of Corridor of Craziness here. Look at this. Oh, Corridor of Craziness. That's not too crazy, it's not very long, but... Oh, I know, there's a re Oh, crap. There's a really good map that I really want to show, but... I'll have to do it next time. Um... I made a map with like three store a three story building in the middle where you had to go around it. I thought that was pretty cool. I was so impressed to myself when I was younger. <laughs> oh crap. Anyway, you go up there and then you go down and then back here. Uh last one I think I just fly through. Uh, which would be this one. So we go through here, through here, get pushed back. Get pushed around. Oh, that bit looks quite cool. Oh, I want to do that bit now. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Oh. You go there. I bet this doesn't work now. Oh, no, that works. Oh, that works. It even turns you around a little bit as well. And there we go. Awesome. Alright, then. Well, I think I'll probably call that the end of whatever this is, this strange episode there. Uh, like I said, if you want to see the rest of the maps, because I'm not sure if anyone's actually interested in this, so if you do, uh, leave a comment or something and I'll be very happy to have a look at the other maps. Some more nostalgia for me. Um, so yeah. Uh, until next time, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you're enjoying Halo 4 if you're playing it at the moment. And until next time, goodbye. <laughs>